Hi everybody, and welcome to the Ask Charlie Show. Today's question comes in from Dan from LA. I live with this feeling that I'm not tapping into my real potential, not maximizing the abilities God gave me. I feel like I have a purpose, but I don't know what it is. How do I find it? Great question, Dan. How do you find your purpose, right? That's the million dollar question. I'm not just saying that. I am sure that literally a million dollars was spent last year trying to answer that question. Why do we get philosophical about our existence? It's because deep down we feel empty. It happens in these quiet moments. You know what I'm talking about? You hear that internal voice telling you that life is supposed to be more than just accumulating stuff and enjoying the moment. Life is supposed to have some deeper meaning or purpose. Now that quest to satisfy that deeper feeling is compelling. That's why it sells so many books, seminars, and that's why it's part of movies. It has been dramatized so much that people are figuratively on the floor looking in the dark for the key that'll open up the door to life contentment, purpose, and happiness. But they never seem to find it. You know why? Because they're looking in all the wrong places. You want to find your purpose? First step, stop looking for it. That's right, get off your hands and knees, stop thinking and overthinking why you're here. You'll never really know. Maybe you'll get some clues about your place in the world, but full on knowledge as to why you're here may just be reserved for the afterlife. But more importantly, trying to find your purpose has an inherent risk. It's about you. What's my purpose? Me. I don't want to just feel good physically. I want to find the thing that makes me feel good on a deeper level. But it's about me feeling good. Here's the problem. Meaning and purpose come when we focus on others, not ourselves. How do we find purpose? We stop searching for purpose and start living with purpose. Let me explain. Three steps. First, ask. Ask yourself the following question. What am I needed for? Not what do I need or what do I want? You wanna change the world? Really? Why? So that you can be a hero? You're already destined for misery if that's what you're looking for. You're not gonna find meaning helping others if you're just trying to make yourself feel good. It's not about what you need. The question is, what is needed from you? Look right in front of you, your family, your community, your friends. Within your grasp are people in need of you. Start by asking what you can do for them. But here's the nuance. I am not saying to ask what is needed. There may be a security need, but you're not a cop. There may be a health need, but you're not a doctor. Ask what you are needed for. What unique contribution can you bring to those in need? What are your talents and interests that make you able to help? Your purpose relates to your talents, but most people think they can find it by thinking. They can't. You find it with step two, act. You don't find your purpose by contemplating philosophy on a mountaintop retreat. You find it in action. Start to contribute, to volunteer, to open up your new business to take on responsibility. Start to do the things that can uniquely contribute to those around you. Last step, review. Every night, review what you did and ask yourself, was that the best use of my time? Can I do more? Did I do too much? Can I delegate this or should I spend more time doing it? Now you are learning by doing. Now you are living with purpose. See, in truth, we don't have one purpose. We all have many purposes. And not only that, it always changes. When you were 15, your purpose may be related to school or parents. At 35, it could be a spouse or children. When you live your life asking what you are needed for, you adapt, you change, you grow. And along the way, you're able to contribute you to others. Over time, you'll gain insight into your unique purpose, to the things that only you can do. And in the end, whether or not you pinpoint your purpose, you'll have spent the better portion of your life helping people and living with purpose, which is always more important than finding it.